Hey, I'm Scott and this is Take Two, a new series of short videos where I'm gonna take just a minute to highlight some of the key features of products that I love. And today we're gonna to start out with OC monitors and how to make the best of their false colors. So we're gonna go over into my exposure page here where I have all of my exposure tools set. And just to show you this a little more clearly, we're gonna turn off the scale and turn off the waveform. Now you can see at the bottom here, this uh, little scale, we have some different types of false color in the OC monitors, not just your standard uh, full spectrum false color, which is typically like this, where you have colors going all over the place and you have the full range you have to kind of think about and memorize and interpret when you're looking at this. Instead, they have a bunch of different versions for different log profiles uh, to match only those key exposure values. So you can look at this in a glance and see exactly what is exposed correctly, what's overexposed, maybe one stop. A lot of people like to overexpose with log profiles. So if your camera is not in here in this list, or if the log profile for this particular camera doesn't match how you and personally like to expose your image, what are you going to do? Well, first off, let's turn our waveforms back on and throw a gray card in the image. So I know that this is a good exposure on my gray card. This is where I usually want to expose my gray card when I'm shooting. So now we're gonna go into our false color options and scroll through until boom, there we find one where the gray card is pink. Uh, red RG3 also works for me and this is typically what I leave it on personally. So I know that now, even though I'm not shooting a red, that this is going to be the version of the false color that matches how I want to expose my image. So now you can see I have green on her face, which means that I'm properly exposed at zero for skin tones. And if I overexpose just a little bit, you can see there we have the pink coming in on the highlights on her cheek. And if I like to overexpose, which I typically do, that's how I would shoot. And jumping back into my standard image, you can see that it looks nice there because I have an overexposure LUT loaded into the monitor. So if you like this video, as always, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And let me know down below what you'd like to see in the future of this series. As always, thank you for watching.